Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny here at Down South with Danny. I'm so excited about today's video because it is a festive beauty video. It's gonna be a combo of blushes, bronzers, highlighters, but it also, it's also going to be a collab with Lou from Aging Gorgeously. You guys have heard me talk about her. I love her channel. I love Lou herself because she's an amazing lady, a dynamic sassafras. I love her. So if you guys are not on her channel, she's at Agently, Aging Gorgeously and she is doing great things over there. She's going live all the time. You can catch her. Turn on the bell, you'll see her going live. Her lives are to die for. They are hilarious to the soul. So make sure you go in. And sometimes they get real deep and there's some great topics. They're always great topics, but the topics get, you know, like just go check her out and you'll see what I'm talking about for sure. However, let's get into this video because there's so much to talk about. So many great things from Bush Bronzers, Highlighters. Let's start with bronzers because, you know, I love me some bronzer. So I only have three. And one of them is technically not, technically not a bronzer, so let's just start there. Let's start with the e.l.f. Finishing Powder in Dark Deep. I love to use a foundation powder or a finishing powder as a bronzer, especially a finishing powder if it comes in a deeper color because it's really smooth and even. It makes a great bronzer. And this is um, what this one looks like, if you guys can see it. It's just a very neutral, deep brown color. And because it's a finishing powder, so it's smooth. You see, I've hit pan on it because I use this all summer long along with the Bobby Brown one that I'm going to show you. And I just love this. I still use this year with a lighter hand, just like a ch -ch 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 dusting because I just love it. It's so good. When I run out of this one, I will definitely repurchase. It's a for sure repurchase. Next up is the ABH bronzer in Mahogany. She put these out for the first time this year and they're beautiful. This one has more like a reddish tint to the undertone. I think all of them are more red so they kind of give that real tan, sun-kissed, burnt look to your skin. And I will admit, I'm loving it. Loving it. Cappuccino is my winter bronzer color for that line. Um, so I may, you know, start using that one. But I also love Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in Tawny Brown. And it again has like that red, I'm um, still focus. Focus for us. Come on, guys. Come on, camera. I think maybe it's focusing, maybe. You can see the pan in the center is so shiny, it's probably throwing the camera off. But I've used this to death, guys. I just love my ground powder products. They are always so good. I also have a bronzer in dark um, as well. And like a all to one, one and done palette that she puts out. So check it out. If you want to try a smaller version of the bronzer, it's in there. Next up, <clears throat> now that we finished bronzer, let's talk about a little glow. I'm wearing the ABH bronzer today if you're wearing which one, wondering which one I'm wearing. It's the ABH bronzer in Mahogany. However, let's move on to some highlighter because what is 2018 without glowing? Without glowing like a light bulb. Let's start with the one I'm wearing today which is the NARS Maldives. They put these out with their new sleeker packaging. NARS has been stepping their game up. Let's see if it'll love us so real close and then back up. Come on, real close, and then back up a little bit. You know, y'all know my camera hates. Oh, there it is, it's like a rosy gold color. It's very pretty. I like it. It's very lit from within. Very lit from within. Kind of so smooth powders. I love these. I have these in almost every shade. Um, I think it's the same formula that's in their Fort de France. Like the Fort de France is another shade, and it's the same texture. As well as, what is that palette called that I have? The Blanc de Sable, I think. The Blanc de Sable, I think it's about. It's like their big brown one with like six shades in it. Two bronzers, four highlighters. It's kind of that same gelée texture. Smooth to the touch. I really like it. Speaking of smooth to the touch, the next highlighter up is the Persona Cosmetics Cali Glow Highlighter in Del Mar, which is the deepest shade. This is like the most gold highlighter I've worn all season. All summer and winter. It's like a bronzy gold, like a this is like if gold had a baby with a light, this is what you would get. This is so good. Persona Cosmetics is so slept on. I need people to stop sleeping on Sona because she's putting out some good stuff, guys. Like some seriously good stuff. And I'm hoping that she puts out blushes in the new year because she put out lip products for the end of this year and some little miniature palettes as well. I think her products are just really good. Just good stuff. 
Next up, we have the Bobbi Brown Highlighting Powder in Afternoon Glow. As you can see, mine is totally busted and dirty because I used the heck out of it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's so pretty. It's another peachy, rosy, gold highlighter because it's what I like. I have a, I have a thing. I like what I like. I don't change my mind. That's all I'm going to say. Last but not least, I'm going to do these two together. We have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Crown of My Canopy and the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Bronze Amber. I love these both. I have hit pan on the Becca. Can you see that I've hit pan on this? Just try. Do you like the super cool beauty guru thing? There we go. Boop. Pan in the center. Beat down. Raggedy. And bought a backup of this already. So, never want to be without it. Love that one. The dupe to this, the drugstore level for like four bucks is the crown of my canopy. As you can see, I'm wearing the pattern all the way off of this one. It's so good. So good. Alright, that concludes our highlighters. On to the love of my life. Not really. It's blush. Let's start real quick with palettes because I only have two. I thought I could have bought y'all ten. I'm trying to be conservative. I'm trying to be respectful. I'm trying to let set y'all time, okay? Because I know I got some individual blushes I got to talk to y'all about. But the first palette of the two is by Sleek. It's not a new thing. It's been out for ages and ages and ages. And this one is just gorgeous. Look at this. It's like terracottas and bright oranges and a shiny, shimmery one. Ooh, so good. It has everything you need all in one palette. This, by the way, is the Blush by 3 palette in Flame 365. I'm hoping Sleek is going to give us more blush palettes this coming year or any point in time because I would buy them. They do have one more, but it has a cream one in it, so I didn't like it, so I'm returning. I don't want no cream in there with my powder blushes because it's just nasty. But that one is really, really good. Y'all know I couldn't do a blush video without including some NARS because NARS is the love of my heart. Uh, NARS, if you see this video, feel free to send your girls some PR. I will take it gladly and continue to use it just like I do with the products I buy willingly. This is the NARS 1 and 2 cheek palette. It has, um, let's see. Oh, all right. PYT. Nope, that's not right. PYT is here. And then Ambitious and Taos or Taos are the three blushes on the bottom. They're like really glowy. And at the top, you got Exposed, Penthouse, and Queen. I think that's how that goes. The It's on the back in a weird way. So I don't know. I never understand how NARS labels their things. But either way it goes, the one at two palette is the deeper of the two because there's also a one at one. This was supposedly limited edition, but I've still been sitting around at Sephora and Ulta and all kind of places. So if you want it, try to go get it because it's so good and well worth it. NARS blushes are super pigmented. It's going to take me a lifetime to use these up, guys. Like a lifetime to use these up. So, they're really good. I love them. Those are the two palettes. Get a wipe here. Just using up these little note wipes I got for free gift with purchase because you know, they're not that great. But they are good enough for swatches, so I'll just take the swatches off. Skin here real quick. Alright, moving on. Let's move on to individual blushes. So we'll start with a glowy blush. Here we go. MAC. Hard to get extra dimension blush. Guys, these extra dimension blushes and extra dimension skin finishes, like they make my day because they're so beautiful and glowy. Like you can see it shining in the pan, like shining, shining, shining. Focus. All right, this one is hard to get and it's super deep and rich and it's just, ooh. Look how my skin looks like it's just started glowing. Oh, it's so good. Love it. If you don't have any of these, get some. I also have it in cheeky bits. And I feel like I need them all because they're so good. I like them. Next up, we have a drugstore blush from Black Radius. Most of these are drugstore, actually. The three. One, two, three, four out of. Let's see. One, two, three, four out of six blush products I'm talking about. I actually drugstore. Look at that. This is from Black Radiance. It is their Artesian Color Blake Blake blah, 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 blah. Artesian Color Bake Blush in 8305 Warm Bay. I'm trying to do upside down so it's making my eyeballs look kind of crazy. But guys, these are so beautiful. They're baked and they're pretty and they're pigmented and they're berry. And this one's very rather. And I also have warm toast, and it's also so good. If you look at the blush, 
if you like a more nude everyday go-to blush the warm toast or toasted something the toasted it might be called toasted it's super good too guys super good i've talked about it before my channel go check out my blush tag you will see a lot of these up in there because they're good they're favorites next up we have the elf prime primary infused blushes and always spicy it's what i have all over my cheeks today i love it so good just burnt terracotta goodness it is finest guys thank you that in that so good so good i'm i'm, I'm singing things today but super good next up we have the note blushes these look a solid sleeper blush okay let's talk about this this came in a boxy charm this this color came in a boxy charm in desert rose then it's called let me tell you what it is it's a note luna silk compact blusher so damn good note where have you been all my life i've been waiting on you and this silky ass blush to come around but you've been hiding on me okay so this is so good it's so freaking smooth i've literally worn the design off because it's pressed with the word note when you get it i have literally worn the design off this this is so beautiful beautiful blush and it's so buildable you could put it on any skin tone and like build it you know the color looks kind of like ah but it's so good i have it in star copper in bronze shell or copper shell and bronze some whatever anyway i bought two more shades because it's so beautiful and i, I would have bought some more but they were sold out already when i went to ulta's website i'm just saying i think Lulu bought them all i believe she did she beat them to them because we were talking about them and it's so good it's just such a good bronzer i thank boxy charm so much for introducing me to that little hidden gem of the year last but not least is a cream blush shishado's minimalist whip powder blush in ao05 i bought this because of gadget lily here she's our shishado princess and it's just such a perfect berry like stain and it has a little cap inside to keep it from drying out so this is a perfect little cream blush try them guys well worth it well worth it beautiful that's the end guys bye i know i know it's the end it's a cool way to end but that's the last blush i'm talking about today and it's beautiful so what better way to end i will see you guys around like comment subscribe